Hi friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. We're gonna do a cute little Easter trait. Okay, this is pre-recorded. So if you reply, I'll answer back to your questions later, but just do say hello so I know that you were here and watched. Um, I took one of our little trays, remember these trays? We have these trays for a while now, and um, the handle's on each side. I took it and I, I painted it with um, light buttermilk. Okay, so I put light buttermilk. We're going to do a little bit of some um, chippy look kind of. We're going to use our brush and just do a little bit of antique -y type thing. <laughs> some detail to it. <laughs> so we're going to use our chippy brush. Anyways, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of gray. Remember, we made the great big sign. I should have had that in here. I really should have because I love the fabulous big sign. But I think this is going to look super cute on a small tray. Um, I, I need more stuff for my craft show. So this is one of the projects. If you need this, you can get all of this from the website. I think they still have the tray. Let me look and see. I have trays. Okay, Darlene has trays, but let me look really quick for you. You know, I I totally forgot that maybe they don't have the tray anymore. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, the tray is still there. Okay, so they do have they do still have the tray. Okay, um, it is it looks like it's thirty dollars retail. Okay, um, and then this this you can use on different things. Okay, so I am going to eventually cut out the the rabbits um, so we can make a different sign also, but. Um, I am really looking forward to putting this on fabric. Also, we've done a wood sign. And should I go get the sign? Hang on just a second. Yeah, let me do that. You guys just sit here for a second. Sorry, I should have been prepared. Let me grab that sign so I can show you. Okay, hey, there's no barking. There's no barking. There's no barking. So please stop. Okay, no barking at all. All right, no barking. Of course, the puppies have to be noisy. <laughs> They're like trying to follow me in here. Sorry, we're not doing that today. <laughs> They're hilarious. And I still have up my, my Valentine's stuff. I need to get that um, taken care of. Oops, I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me see here. Sorry. It's one of those days, honestly. Um, oh, it, yeah. Let me just turn that down so we don't get interrupted again. Okay, here's the cute sign. Okay, sorry about that. I should have had it ready. Here's the cute sign that we made, and it is just really fun, okay? It's big, but I really think it would be cute on the wall. And we still need to do this one in the same size, okay? So maybe we'll do this one another day in the same size. I want to have a matching pair for my craft show because there goes more alerts. Um, I think the same person, I have a person that buys all those big things like that, and I think that she would love that. So um, let's go ahead and get started with this. I have pre-painted this with light buttermilk, okay? So let me put you down to the project. I feel like I'm not, not organized today because this is not my regular time. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my regular time. So, and Hubby just got home from his walk. It, it is only like 9.47 on Sunday, but I'm trying to pre-record some of my some of my things so that I have them for you guys. All right, so here is this. All right, and let me put myself up in the corner. Come on, Darlene, you can do it. You can do it. All right, so it won't take that long because I'm not answering questions. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of mix some of this. I'm going to take... So I used light buttermilk and I and I coated the edges also. All right, so I'm gonna take some slate gray and then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of black. Okay, we're gonna chalk in black. We're actually gonna use shimmer. I think shimmer will be really cute. So we're gonna add a little bit of black. We're gonna grab a paper towel over here. Okay, and when you do use the chippy brush, you don't wanna have that much paint on there. Okay, so the whole point is just having a little bit of paint. All right, so. Um, I'm going to just kind of mix that. I actually should mix that before. Let me just kind of do something. Let's just get a little stir stick and let's get that kind of mixed up. 
I just want to have a darker gray and I don't have a darker gray in here and I'd have to go in the other room again and you know how that goes so <laughs> all right so there is it's basically like zinc so um, the color zinc is the color that I would have grabbed off the shelf if I had if I had it okay so I'm going to take my brush and you're going to put a little bit on the brush okay not a ton all right and then you're going to get most of it off on your paper towel Okay, so, so you just kind of, you don't want a ton, okay? And then you're gonna just start. So I'm gonna go in one direction. I've told, I want some on the edges, on all my edges, okay? So I wanna go in one direction and then I'll go back like this. So the edges have a lot on them. And then I'm gonna put a few swipes <laughs> in the center and then we're probably gonna call it done, okay? And then we're gonna chalk with black. Okay, the black is going to stand out a lot. Okay, so that's all there is to that. It's not It's not a lot. These are those cheap little brushes that you get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Over in the paint area, I probably need just a little bit more down there. Okay, and then let's dry. And then we're going to do our, we're gonna do our transfer. It really is a quick project, um, if you think about it, because you're only doing part of that transfer. And we're going to use our big our big large squeegee so our four inch handle squeegee we need that so we're just gonna go ahead and do this make sure that you did the right side okay so there's a right and a wrong side on this tray and i'll show you how you tell the difference because <laughs> i almost did it the wrong way and then i was like nope for me the other part goes the other way so the screws are recessed on the other side okay so what you have to do is make sure that the holes are on the correct side for the recessed part. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so when the handle goes on, the screw goes from the other side and it's recessed. So the back side is the one that has the bigger holes. Okay, so these holes are such that when it's screwed, um, the screws are in there, that they'll be recessed and this will lay flat. Okay, so, so make sure that you do that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get this transfer on here and not spill anything, okay? Um, it's pretty wide. I'm gonna actually move this for a moment because I just know how I am. I know that I spill things. <laughs> I'm gonna move all this stuff that I could make a disaster with. Okay, and I did test this out and what will fit is um, the bunny and then farm feed and then this down here. These will not fit. That's okay. I don't need to have everything, right? I wish these little flowers would fit on the side, but you have to have a really big tray. So they really need to make this a size C. Don't you think? A size C would be good next year. Okay, so peel off the backer sheet, okay? And then you're gonna get it down into place. Somehow, you're gonna get it into place, okay? So, yeah. Um, another good thing might be to have something underneath of this that slides. Okay, so I did I did have it so that it would all fit. Um, let me just get the let me get the bottom part. Let's get the bottom part and then we'll work on the top part. Okay, so it just barely goes right there. <laughs> I told you stuff will jump. Okay, so the bottom part is exactly where it needs to be. And then we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna go from the bottom up. Does that make sense? We're gonna kind of just um, go from the bottom up. All right, so so it is barely off the top. Should I move it down just a touch? Let me see if I can. It is, <laughs> when I was eyeballing it before, it, it fit. Okay, so maybe what I need to do is let's take it off and let's try this again okay so i did not fuzz it either so guys just be careful <laughs> i'm just trying to get some air under it and get it in place and we'll get that right down there right at the bottom if i go right to the bottom just like right there i think we will be fine i know you guys are all rooting for me going darlene you can do it darlene you can do it i think i can do it it's going to be right at the bottom okay it's going to be almost off the edge and the other is going to be right at the top and that's okay. All right. We just want to make this work. Okay. So get all your air bubbles out 
we're going to do this all in shimmer shadow. Oh yeah, right to the top. It's going to be fine. Okay. I'm okay if it goes off the edge just a tiny, tiny little bit. Okay. You're not going to do this part. Okay. So we're going to, we're not doing those parts there, but we're going to do all of this and then all of this. Okay. So what I'll do, I will actually get a little mini squeegee to do this top part so that I don't have any issues. Let me grab that. This is going to be so cute, guys. I'm so excited. Should I move it down so you can see better? Let me just move this whole thing down <laughs> a little bit. There we go. How's that? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, get all those air bubbles out. Make sure all those air bubbles are out. Remember, this board is just a tiny bumpy. So you could have air bubbles, but that's okay. We're not going to sweat the small stuff, guys. And it is all small stuff. All right, so we have our chalk piece right here. And we're going to just go ahead and do the top. So this is not going to dry. Shimmer is not going to dry that fast. And I chose shimmer just because I love the way shimmer looks. And it's going to be nice and smooth. Okay, don't do those side things. Hey, you know what? Maybe we're just going to do a lot of this with our mini squeegee. We'll just get it going. And then I'll grab my, um, my four-inch handle squeegee and finish it out. So let's just get all of our chalk paste applied on here. This is going to be so cute, guys. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try it. And then I'm like, well, I'll just save that for one of my videos for when I'm gone. <laughs> you can order all of this stuff. Uh, I will do a cart link. You'll be able to order all of this stuff off of my website. So you can order this while I'm gone. And if you are a designer, of course, you're going to get your 40% off. If you want to become a designer, then you can get 40% off of everything every single day. We also have the Perks Club um, coming up, Perks uh, customers coming up. So that's coming up March 1st, and you will be able to join. It's like it's kind of like a membership club, kind of like a membership club, I would say. And you pay your $20 each month, and then you're going to get $20 in designer dollars back to spend. Isn't that awesome? And then if you want to get the... the um, the club transfer you can um you can get that at a discount so that's always great but um then you will always get everything at 30 percent off always everything i think that's pretty pretty amazing i'm trying to find a place to put this <laughs> where to put this okay i think we're i think we're ready to peel let's see what we got let's peel and reveal oh my goodness look at this this is so darn cute guys this is fabulous it's taking off a little bit of the paint but you know what i don't worry because we want it to be kind of chippy look at how nice that looks look at that detail oh my goodness those little bunnies are just adorable adorable i say okay so take your transfer and put it on the backer sheet you're gonna be able to wash that and reuse it over and over, okay? You can make cute, cute pillow out of that. That would be super cute pillow or a wall hanging and put a border around it if you're a quilter. If you are a quilter, this would be the great center of a um, little spring or Easter quilt for sure. Okay, let's try this. Dry, dry, dry. How fun is that? Now, if you want to leave off the words at the top, you absolutely can. I'm going to ink my edges though, okay? So I will end up inking my edges just so that um, there's a little bit more on the edges. I'll just barely, I'll just barely ink the edges, but I think that will be perfect, the perfect ending. <laughs> and it looks great. The only thing I'm going to fix down here on lettuce, the U, the U just didn't get all the way. So I just touched that up with my stylus. Yeah. What do you think, guys? I think this is so cute. We gotta put the handles on. We will eat the edges and then we'll put the handles on. And this is going to be fabulous. Fabulous, I say. And I love that it's, that it's shimmery. People are gonna love that for sure. It'll be a fun little tray to put with their Easter decor. Okay, yeah, I will sell this at my craft show. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm going to ink the edges just a little bit. I'm going to take my ink pad and just go around all the edges just a touch, okay? So it just kind of blends that together, you know, where where I did all of the, um, the chippy stuff. Sorry, that's a little loud. <laughs> you have headphones in that was probably a lot loud okay so there we go so see how it just kind of gives it a border um that's what you want you don't want it to be a lot and if you need to add a little bit you can um this is water soluble but if you took it off some of your chalk piece would come off too okay let's put those handles on and then we're done guys this is a quick project i told you so just base coat your base coat your little tray before and then um then you can do this this would be cute in the green too don't you think I think this would be super cute in the grain. If you want to go back and you want to color your bunnies, you absolutely can, but I am not going to do that. Okay, I have my I have my little handles. Make sure you don't have anything on here when you turn this upside down. You do not want to ruin your project. Okay, so here's my screws. I'm going to put the screws in the holes and then line it up. I do have my little drill here that hopefully will help me out. And um, I struggle sometimes with, with stuff like this, sometimes. So um, I might just want to get it started a little bit. And, you know, sometimes they don't want to go in the way that they should. Yeah, sometimes, 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 sometimes I, I just struggle. <laughs> Maybe all the time. Maybe all the time. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get it lined up. Yeah, these ones, um, I feel like they're, they're just a little bit off. Okay, all right, I got it lined up. I'm going to turn it upside down. And now hopefully, hopefully we can screw this in. You can use a regular screwdriver, okay? You don't have to have, you don't have to have the cordless. Okay, so let me see. Okay, just going to push it back. And then hopefully... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a different um, thing in. This is not the right tip. Okay, let me get a different tip. Um, <laughs> just <don't. laughs> you guys know how I am. You know how I am. Let me find a better tip that is a good one for that. Okay, so um, let me see. I think this is the right one. This one right here, I think. I have to have help from my husband on these. Okay, I'm gonna back it out and then I'll then I'll okay and then I'll put it back in. There we go. See, it, the other one was the little tiny fine tip, so it didn't have enough grip. Okay, so there we got one side in. Look how cute that is. That is super cute, guys. I love this. Okay, other side. <laughs> and I'll have to take a picture so I can show you guys. And then I'll post I'll post all the all the ingredients. <laughs> all the supplies. Um, basically ingredients like making a cake, right? You, and you need to know what all do I need to have. It's like ingredients. Yeah. I don't have anybody to talk to, so I have to talk to myself and make up things. <laughs> These are the ingredients that it takes. <laughs> These are the supplies that you need. All right, this is so cute though, isn't it so cute? You can totally do this yourself, I promise. Okay, um, let me just get this all lined up so that, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't line up perfectly. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes the handles don't line up perfectly. Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Okay, there, I think we got it. All right, let's try it. I just go back and forth usually. I don't want to do one all the way. I think I did on the other though. So, um, you want to go back and forth until you got it all the way in. Okay, and then you're done. <laughs> We're done. We have our most adorable little Easter tray, which I think I'll take this to my craft show and I will, I'm going to put the other bit back in because um, Tara uses this for those little tiny trays that we have. <laughs> she uses, she uses it for that. So I'm going to put the tiny bit back in for her so that she doesn't go, what happened to my, to my 
cordless drill. Okay, perfect. Now, I really like the Ryobi. If you're looking for a cordless drill, these are great. You just recharge this base. You can also use the same base for your um, cordless glue gun. But isn't that perfect? This is so fun. If you wanted to put stuff on this, you would need to seal it. So here's the thing, guys. I'm going to tell you, you can seal this with clear sealer. I don't usually seal it. I take it to my craft shows and people use it for decoration. They're not going to use it to put water or anything like that on it. But if you want to seal it, here's what you do. You get your clear Krylon sealer and use the mat. And you're going to go like this. You're going to go... Just like that, that wisping with your wrist back and forth like that small little sprays back and forth, okay? You're not going to go, shh, sorry, that's the wrong thing, okay? You're going to do this three times. If you want to seal it and have it be perfect forever and not have any type of boo-boos on it, if you're going to put stuff onto it, like if you're actually really going to use this as a tray, you're going to seal it. So um, you'll do that. You'll do the shh. You're going to do that three times. So you'll set your timer and you'll set your timer for 30 minutes and you'll go back and you'll do your next one. And then you'll do your next one. You want light coats. The key is light coats. It's not like a heavy shh. Okay, sorry. I found effects. I know you guys love it, but that's exactly what it sounds like when you're doing it. So you're just like small little bursts of the matte sealer. Okay, the Krylon matte sealer is the best Krylon clear matte sealer is like 4x or something like that or 2x whatever it says on it anyways that is what you're going to use okay guys let me put you up to myself and we are done for the day uh, with this one <laughs> isn't this just so cute i love this cute little tray it's so fun somebody's going to snatch that right up they are going to grab that first thing out of my booth i guarantee you <laughs> It is so much fun. And like I said, if you don't want to put the farm feed on there and you just want to put one or the other, you can. I like it with both, but you can actually, um, you could actually do um, it so that there's just one. Okay. So if you're thinking, oh, it's too crowded, then just do one and move it, move it up or move it down. Okay. You don't have to do it all. But aren't those bunnies just the cutest? They are just adorable. All right, guys. So this will be one of my pre-recorded ones. So I'm not sure what day. I'm going to kind of mix things up and have no idea what the day of the weekend will, will be for you. I'm recording this on a Sunday, though. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you so much. Hope you're all doing well. I'll be checking in daily with you when I'm on my vacation, but I will not be posting pictures. I will not be doing that. I will just be checking in and saying, hey, I might just be, I might just be like a little short thing. Hope you're doing okay. That type of thing. But I do, I am committed to doing my Facebook live every day. And this is pre-recorded. So that doesn't count. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.